here we are. Brace yourself. We are at Hurricane Grill and Wings in Lindenhurst. We are here tonight for the big book launch that I have been talking about for uh, a couple of weeks now. Very excited to be here. Um, people are starting to come in. They're ordering some drinks. Uh, we have my drink. I have it in my great glass. And um, we have some fun guests. And then, of course, the guest of honor, C.F. Wynn, who's going to be talking about uh, her book tonight, this book, Haunted House, Haunted Life by C.F. Wynn. This is what we're going to be talking about tonight. So it's all very, very exciting. Um, it's nice to see everybody joining. We're here in Lindenhurst, my old stomping ground, which is exciting, land of the bulldog. And um, it's been a long time since I've been here doing, uh, you know, well, it's been a long time since I've been here performing. Here I am, people are coming in, and it's very exciting. And um, I think I'm going to introduce you. We have a very special uh, guest here tonight, and he's talking to his constituents right now, but um, we have the mayor, and the mayor of Lindenhurst knows my sister and my brother-in-law. What are the odds? What are the odds that you know the mayor? Come here, brother-in-law. Come on. Here's my brother-in-law. He knows the mayor, so that's good. Hello? It's a good hook. You always want to have that kind of a hook. So, mayor, come on over. Here's the mayor of Lindenhurst, Mike Lavarada. Hello. How do you know this joker? Oh, this guy is, is well, first of all, I've been here a long time, but one of our finest. Lindenhurst has the, the best volunteer fire department anywhere. Well, that is uh, true. So I, I must prejudicially say that I'm so proud of all these guys because of what they're doing. This guy just, he just happens to be one of oh. my buddies. I love them all. But they, yeah, they're, they're he's awesome. a good guy. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, when you need something, you they are there. Good, they're out there. They don't sleep. These guys never sleep. I don't know how they do it. Well, that's fantastic. Well, they're thank good you men. for that. Good men. So, well, welcome to Brace Yourself. Here, go move over a little bit. I don't want to see you. All right. I don't know like about you know, spotlight, right? okay. So, welcome to Brace Yourself. Hello. Let me explain where the yes. title came mm -hmm. from, okay? Yes. So, I noticed people notice that I'm not wearing my neck brace. Okay. Um, I had neck surgery. Okay. And uh, I was home bored. And I took to Facebook Live and I started talking. And it's kind of blossomed into this and it's awesome. very exciting it got me um hooked up with cf win who we are here tonight to yes honor. kind of a favorite of mine yes. right so how do you know her well we actually met um i believe it was at a beautification mayor's beautification society because her daughter ali was doing the name right I think so. She was doing was with the kids doing some volunteer work and Chris came to pick the kids up and we started chatting and I happened to, I don't know whether or not I, I had asked her about the book about Suki and, I, and then I had read I read it and I will tell you that uh, it was uh it was a it was probably one of the best books I've ever read. But most importantly, I, I say, you don't cry reading that book, you have no heart. I did, you know, I did, and, I cried. And I, and I did I did say and, as I got towards the end, I don't want to take because I want people to read it. Right, right. And as I read it, it was one of those gulp. Yeah, yeah so, when, you, when it all kind of came yeah, together, yeah. right? So I, I, she knows how to tug at my heartstrings. I happen to also love her because she's one of the most giving, sweet people you'll ever meet in life. Absolutely. And, uh, 100%. As beautiful as she is on the outside, she's even more beautiful inside. So that just, that not everybody can say that about other people. No. But, so I just happen to love her, and I love her mom too. So we're kind of all. You know, one of the things is prior to becoming mayor I, is when we became friends. But as you become mayor and after, as you're in office and you get to know people, you come to events like these, which you enjoy. I, mean, I love coming to these events. It's not like I'm not sure has to pull me out. You gotta go. No, I love doing it. If I didn't want to be someplace, I wouldn't be someplace. And for her, I would do anything. I would say, you just, you just got to ask me and I'll be there. But more importantly, uh, not just as a friend, but she's an amazing author. And people should know that. And she's one of ours. Yes. Yes, she is. That's, That's fantastic. So now, how long have you been the mayor? I've been the mayor almost, actually, uh, it'll be three years in about a month. Wow. February 27th, I think was the date that I was uh, appointed. Mayor John Brennan was the previous mayor, and he had to step down due to some health reasons. He's doing great. He looks fantastic. You probably can kick by behind him now. But when Tom stepped down, I was appointed by the village board to become mayor. 
And then uh, I was the reason that works is they don't want to have an election two months before we normally be at the March election. So they wait for the next cycle, which was again now that became twenty eighteen. So in March of twenty eighteen I ran to finish out Tom's the remaining two years of his term. Uh, got elected in a Amazing numbers. I'm still stunned with the numbers we got. I, I can't. I can't even begin to tell you how many people can. I mean, you know, in basically a semi, semi uncontested election because it was just a right and over two thousand votes. That's and, amazing. And that's amazing. Considering contested elections, you're lucky to get four thousand on both sides. So that's great. It's pretty amazing. And, and let's just say that that's the whole team. That's not myself. That's I have a great deputy mayor, Marianne Wetland, Pat Bikikro, RJ Rennett, Joe Masterson, and my trustees. You couldn't get a better board. Everybody is different. Everybody has something different to bring to the table. Um, you know, one's a builder. One's a marketing rep. One owns a small business in the village. One is a post guard slash owner. So, and, and I'm an electrical engineer. So, collectively, we bring things to the table. We may not have ever been put to this village really before. So, it's very dynamic, different dynamic, and we've gone through a major downtown revitalization, all new stores and all new businesses. This is one wonderful business that uh, has blossomed. We had so many places here that weren't successful, but Hurricane is an awesome place. We come here a lot and hang out. It's a nice place. I happen to be a New York Rangers hockey fan, so I like to watch my team lose okay. here. <laughs> Well, you know, I did read in the newspaper that was the first is becoming uh, one of the top culinary spots yes, on the Long Island. Yes, the culinary pub. Pub, yes. And now, if anyone had told me that 10 years ago that we would be a culinary hub, I probably would have fainted. But now, she is believing. And again, all the folks here, people involved in all the businesses, the residents, if the residents don't buy into the plan, it goes nowhere. Right. And we've had a lot of residents buy into what we're doing. And the proof is in the fact that about 10 or 12 new restaurants all over London uh, of every type. We've got, we're now in our Mexican, we've got a Thai place, we've got a, a, a Japanese noodle place, a regular sushi Japanese place, uh, three Italian places, we have an empanada place. I mean, now we've got a new place called uh, Hunter and Thief opening up on Hop, and it's kind of like an English pub. So. Can you beat that? Really? You can't beat that. That's okay. fantastic. Okay. And it's always nice to be in a town where you have a lot of different oh, places to go to oh, eat. Oh, absolutely. You, you will not have a problem with a uh, diverse choice of, of culinary yeah. options. Yeah. We even have a Peruvian place right here in Montel Cairo. As you, as you head west, you yes, yes, okay. got Barado Latino. we got some awesome places. So if you want to eat, then it's a place to go. Place. That's why the mayor has put on a few pounds, <laughs> and he's trying to hold his stomach in a little bit. But, but, uh, <laughs> well, that is great. And, you know, I did. I told you I grew up in Lindenhurst. Yes. I graduated from Lindenhurst High School, class of 1986. And, no. Yes. And, I was um, going to say class of 2006. Oh, uh, Mayor, you have my heart already. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, I just wish Chris a happy 29th birthday. There it is, right? I got to yes. come over for this. You got to give him a hug for yes. that. got to give you a hug yes. for that. Yes. Can you just celebrate your 29th birthday again? It was my 28th, but that's yeah, all right. Okay. I don't hate you. That's okay. That's all right. Well, can you, can you not, how could you not love this lady? You, you can't, if you don't love her, there's something wrong. Something yeah. definitely wrong. That's and right. I said, if you read Suki and you don't have an emotional, you need help. That's it. You the book. Then you have no okay. feelings. You got no and you have ice water going through exactly. your veins. That's what it you is. You better see the Wizard of Oz and go get a heart. You know, um, you're really good at this. I'm looking for a call host. Thank you. Listen. Thank you. I was a terrible disc jockey. Well, I, I thought I, I was. I thought I was good. Those were the days when you didn't have to be on television nobody could look at you. But uh, it was. It was hey, Rich. How you doing, buddy? It's great too. You get to see a lot of old friends that were as well. Oh yeah, no. The, the old days, I played um, you know, Pearl Jam records and things. No, I just still don't. Nice. Well, anyway, thank you very it was much. Fun. I thank appreciate you so it. It was very thank lovely. You. It was a to pleasure to meet you. And have fun the rest. A lot of fun, folks. Come on down. You're having a good time already. We are. So I think, um, what is the time? 6.45, I think. 6.50. We got, it's, it's filling up here. It's looking really good. Uh, the crowd is relaxing. They're eating. They're having something to drink. So it's really, um, it's really shaping up to be quite an event. I see, um, Woohoo, Corey, class of 1986, that's right. I see uh, so many people have, have joined to watch, which is so exciting. Uh, we have some really great lighting tonight, which is exciting too. I have this great new light, which I love. It's like having a filter 
So you can't see all the flaws. It's phenomenal. It's my favorite thing. And I have, I brought my glass this time. I did not forget my glass. And the t-shirts, here they are. The t-shirts looking great. Very excited about the t-shirts. And we even have little stickers that are in the, uh, the swag bags. So um, I'm going to show you one of these. Can I see one of those swag bags? Would you mind? I want to show you one of these great bags that CF is giving out tonight. It's a beautiful bag, right? With uh, cfwin.com. So if you want to go on her website and and look at uh, look it up, and on the back are all of the titles of her books, and then there's all sorts of really cute stuff in here. So. You can only get one, though, if you're here in Hurricane, and there's still time to come down. So uh, that would be fantastic. Um, Casey, I am at the Hurricane Grill and Wings in Lindenhurst. That's where I am. Hi, Brendan. How you doing? So we are, uh, people are coming in. This is great. We're going to talk to CF Wynn in a few minutes. Before she gets going, she has a great comedian who is opening for her, Mandy Mealy. You may have seen her on my show before. Very funny uh, woman. She's going to have us laughing. And then I uh, get the honor. Do this. I get the honor of introducing CF Wynn. Now, I was just given a gift. And uh, anybody who knows me, <clears throat> they know I love a gift. So, Roseanne, thank you. Love, Paula. Now, where's Paula? Let's see what this is. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Wait till you see. Wait until you see this. Wait. Wait until you see wine glass charms. Brace yourself. Here it is. Wine glass charms. Aren't they fabulous? Where's Paula? Is Paula here? CF, is Paula here? Uh, Paula. 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 Paula, I love them. Thank you so much. These are amazing. They are going to go on my wine glasses. All my wine glasses. Not that I have that many. Just a few. It's all right. So in a few minutes, uh, I'm actually going to take I'm going to take these off, and I'm going to put them on the wine glass that I am drinking out of right now because it's just too exciting to not do that at the moment. And let's see who's who's, who's joining. I see uh, Lori Ann. How are you? And Erin. Oh, hi, Erin. And Brendan Lynch, hey Brendan, Debbie Wells, oh so many people, this is so exciting, this is a great event, they're going to, um, I'm going to go live as long as my battery lasts because they don't have any outlets here, that's the only thing, there are no outlets, so I'm trying to find an extension cord, and I don't, uh, I don't think they have one, so I hope the battery lasts through the whole event, but if, if for some reason, uh, my battery goes. You can go to your page, right? CF Win page, CF Win Facebook page. So if somehow I cut out, she will be uh, also going live on her page for all of her fans to see. And here we are. Here are my charms, right on my glass. Brace yourself. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Now nobody can ever say uh, that's my glass because no, it's it's my glass. So uh, it's 6:49. I'm going to bring CF over now, and we are going to do a little quick pre-interview before all of the festivities get going. This is really an exciting evening, so come on over. Hello and welcome. Hello. You look amazingly beautiful. How are you? I'm a little bit hoarse, a little bit sleepy. I hope you can all hear me out there on Facebook. Now. I'm but sure they can. They can hear you. You sound fine. I know it's hard when you're when you're hoarse. Just keep some water here by you. So tell me right now, just your initial feeling. How are you feeling? People are coming in. The tables are filling up. What is, what is your feeling right now? Well, um, it's truthfully so much fun. Every time I when I'm preparing, I get very nervous. I get very scared. You know that. But then you know I wind up here, and then I'm with my friends. I'm with you. You made this so easy for the beginning. And I have been chatting. With we have been. We've been having such great conversations. Yeah, and dinner. We did. We do. We ate dinner tonight. It was amazing. The bowls are really good here. 
yes. But I have to say, actually, thank you so much for talking to Mike about the, um, you know, all the, the things that are up and coming in the new years, because it was an exciting time for us. It is. And as you know, the theme of this book launch is not just my book, it's not just paranormal, but it's also local. Because we are in a local spot, we're set locally. I want to highlight everything locally about Lindhurst, Long Island, the place where we live, and the place where we grew up. It, it made, you know, it shaped our lives. We have, I have great memories from growing up. Uh, we did plays together in, in high school, and so it's nice that. Um, you know, we we are able to come in and give back to a community that gave us so much, which is, is an exciting thing. So, um, this book is phenomenal. All right. I didn't think, I was like, no way, she can't top herself after Suki. Can't do it. She did it. All right. So, now you have to read two books. You have to read Suki. And then you have to read Haunted House, Haunted Life, Please. because it's just like your your writing is so incredibly real. Um, just give me a little bit of how, how did you how do you make it so what do you draw? I mean, besides yes, real life, it's hard to make a, a character sound so. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the beauty of realistic fiction. I mean, I am drawing in real life sometimes. Sometimes it's um, somebody else's uh, situation that I'm writing about. But when I'm doing it, this is a good So you'll appreciate this because it's a lot So we do high school plays together. Yes, we did. Uh, we both have done some professional acting. So it's kind of like acting. On the page, I can get it. On the on the page, you you just you flourish, you open up. Now I know we're talking about the haunted haunted house, uh, haunted house life book tonight, but Suki, if Suki was a movie, who would play? Who would you want to play the character? Oh God, this has been in my head a few times. I mean, honey, I don't want to say you used up. Because it's not like you play genie, right? That's what you're saying. <laughs> you need the wig. You need the wig that actually comes off. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. I can do that. I did age out of Suki. It's so annoying. Well, if you aged out, I aged out too. So I'm uh, not in the running. All right. All right. I don't, I, you know, I thought about this. I thought about this. And I actually think maybe, um, Oh, why is her name escaping me right now? The one who used to dance at Ephraim, which is a high school musical. Oh, 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 Vanessa Hudgens. Yes, yes I can see that. I can do I could, and what about Twain? I always, I, I don't think, I think he's too old to age, but I don't think he's, he's too old to age. Um, the guy from Grey's Anatomy, I can't say anyone's name. Oh, 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 yes. He's a real cute one. Yeah, what is his name? Oh, I can't remember. He's got the, the some blue eyes, right? The guy, yeah. the doctor, what the heck is his name? Uh, look at your brother saying Julia Roberts. Talk about aging out. Come on, so now. Come on, what are you Come on Five Field, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, look at him, he called us a power duo. Leave it you. All right, I do. I like that. We are a power duo. We are going to blow up the world with Grace Yourself and literature. That's what it's all about. Um, Drake for Dwayne. Drake. Uh, I think the guy from Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. My daughter would know if I could find her right now, but... Um, they're not paying attention to me. No. They're just, they're someone, just someone, someone will come up with it. Someone, someone will come up with it. Exactly. Oh, a lot of love. A lot, love, 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 love that. Okay, so um, what are you most excited about tonight? I'm really most excited for you and Mandy to get up and show you. I'm telling you, the theme is small business that I love. And you are a small business. And so is she. Yes, yes. And you are, um, you are not Dempsey, not Dempsey, oh, Linda. Not Dempsey. He's the, the, the newer one, younger. He's still on the show. God, I can't remember anyone's names anymore. Doctor, oh gosh, I can't remember at all. Listen, tonight, while we're doing this, who's going to be saving someone's life in that book? Probably, so probably, yes. And, and we'll have to. Bridget, Grey's Anatomy question. The name of the doctor with the. Huh? No, 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 no. Um, the young one. 
Uh, <laughs> the, the, Todd Young and a doctor. That's all we've got. We don't have his name. African American. Uh, the plastic surgeon the guy. Jackson, Jackson Avery. Avery. I knew she'd know. <laughs> <the one. laughs> Jackson Avery. That's it. Yes, he would be perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely perfect. So, um, so this is great. We're gonna we're gonna be getting started. Uh, what do we have? Fifty six. So we're good to go. So I. Uh, why don't you go and alert your comedian that I am gonna I am gonna set you up absolutely. So for anybody who can someone to say I'm going live too. All right. All right. So we are now live on my Facebook. And we are, gosh, we have to flip the camera. There we are. And we are now live on CF Wins page. So, uh, all right, folks, welcome. Welcome tonight um, to the book launch for CF Wins book, Haunted House, Haunted Life. My name is Roseanne Sorrentino. Uh, I host a webcast on Facebook Live called Brace Yourself. Uh, usually I wear a neck brace. That's how the show started, but I opted out and played doctor tonight, and I decided I don't need it, so too bad. Um, we are going to get this evening going. We have a very funny woman who's going to come up here and uh, make you laugh. So if you wouldn't mind, please put your hands together for comedian Mandy Mealy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, I want to offer a big thank you and a congratulations to CF Win on the book launch. Uh, super, super exciting. Um, and uh, I have to say, I was I was very honored that you had asked me to open for you. Um, and then I thought, well, it's a little odd, you know, because like, what what do I know about the metaphysical world? Um, you know, not so much probably. Um, to be honest with you, the only experience I have with the paranormal. Uh, are the ghosts that haunt me from my childhood, for the most part. Um, yeah, do you have any idea how screwed up you need to be to choose stand-up comedian as a career? <laughs> it is pretty spooky up here. So I get it, I get it. Um, and then as I thought about it some more, um, maybe I do have some experience. Like I have, I'm a toddler mom, my daughter is three. Uh, but for a very long time, all of last year, she referred to a little girl and the people upstairs in our bedroom, um, and then one night reassured me, they won't bite me. Um, so I thought that was intensely creepy. Um, so it's starting to make sense, right? Um, I think. <laughs> and then more recently, uh, to, along that line with my daughter, I was leaving her playroom one night with her. We shut off the light. And from the dark corner, I hear laughter and talking coming from a toy box. And I learned that I will shove a toddler by to escape <laughs> demons. I will do that. Um, yeah. And speaking of demons um, and being haunted from my childhood, I also thought I would share with you one of my favorites. Um, as a child, I played Little League. Uh, when I was eight. And as a child, I was, I had a mullet, first of all. Um, I was very tall. I had freckles. I always looked just a tiny bit sweaty all the time, <laughs> no matter what. Um, a little androgynous looking. Uh, and I wasn't overweight, but compared to all of the children, I was always the most huge. <laughs> always. Um, and so, of course, my mom signed me up for co-ed Little League. So my team was made up of 12 horrible little boys and me. <laughs> um, and it was, it was such a difference in size that, like, the other parents saw me and were like, is that the umpire? <laughs> um, it was not. It was me. Um, and never one time that entire season did I ever connect the bat to the ball. So my team hated me, hated me. And every time I would get up to bat, you would hear from the dugout, just like one collective, like, oh, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
Um, yeah, so it was it was kind of a nightmare to be honest. And um, the worst though, the worst part from Little League really had a lot more to do with team photo day. Um, <clears throat> that was because my mom forgot to wash my uniform, so I didn't have a t-shirt, and I had to go to my coach for help. Uh, my coach, like, I think back about him now. Like, at the time, he was maybe 35 years old, really committed to Little League, completely, completely shiny bald, but it was not a choice for him, and he was mad about it. <laughs> um, his car, I remember, was just made completely of rust, held together by WBAB bumper stickers. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, <laughs> for a brief time, and then it, and then it was right back to like no dad for Christmas, so it was fine. <laughs> um, yeah, but so anyway, I needed the T-shirt. He was digging through the floor garbage of his car. Uh, he found a shirt, uh, balled up, um, and I remember that it was tight on me, of course, um, and also that it smelled. It had smelled like the ghosts of a thousand Big Mac farts. <laughs> it, it was all the things that you wanted for like an androgynous, oversized, and friendless nine-year-old. It's like all of the qualities that you would hope for. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, the actual, like the kicker from this whole story really came years later. I was moving in, uh, with my, uh, boyfriend, now husband, right there. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> um, and we were going through boxes and I saw him going through one and he found my little league photo. Now this photo was burned into my brain from childhood, like I remember it. And I see him look at it and stare at it, and then he holds it up, and then he says, hey, uh, check out the mullet on this fat little boy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, with that said, you guys, um, I wanted to, that's the end of my set. I wanted to thank you, share my little haunted story with you from childhood, and thank you again for having me, and congratulations. So, okay, so I, uh, <clears throat> before we bring out our guest of honor, it is really nice to see um, so many book lovers here. I love to read. I've even uh, actually toyed with writing a book myself. I, I actually started a book. It's a self-help book, and it's called Why Are My Kids Still Living With Me? A Parent's Guide to Moving Them Out. Uh, it ended there. Uh, I have to keep you posted. I don't really know how it's going to work out right now. So, um, But I did. I always read to my, my kids when they were younger, and because they say, read to your children. It will instill a love of reading. And so I, I read to my first one, and don't you know, by, you know, a very young age, she loves books, turning books. She's a reader to this day. Second one, not so much. I thought, figured she was going to be more of a 